We are on day three, first or second full day, but day three. Second big concert. Yes. Headliners. Getting ready to see Newsboys. Even Max is opening. keep doing that. Uh, the Premier Store, I want to make sure you guys are aware of this. Now that is down on deck two. And the reason why I'm telling you about it is because... I crept like the ancients across the distended pathway. And they finally got us on a boat together. And I, it's crazy. Like my, my young self, my 90 self, can never imagine my 52 year old self sitting on a cruise, you know, with Peter Furler and Mike. Oh yeah. And Michael Tate in the same band. And wait, here's the shocker. It was not my band. It was Newsboys. <laughs> so wait a second, where did my buddy Michael go? Oh, he just went and made Newsboys, put him back on the planet, and uh, has been serving the Lord with these awesome Aussies for some time now. So hey, I'm gonna say a special shout out to Michael's brother, yeah. Nick Tate. The sisters here tonight, Linda Ramelton, all the stars came out. All right, this is a song by Bob Dylan. Revisiting this planet, um, redoing the seminal album by Larry Norman called Only Visiting This Planet, of which DC Talk sang, which we'd all been ready night after night after night. And I became friends with Larry in the 90s, and he would come through Nashville, Tennessee. He called me up. He said, Kevin. He said, Kevin, what are you doing right now? I'm like, you know, man, I'm like watching really bad TV, horror movie or something. He said, let's go to Tower Records. I'm like, okay. So we go down to Tower Records and Larry would buy me any album I want. And we get up to the cash register because they had cash registers back then. <laughs> and they had record stores back then too. Like physical records you'd buy, right? So he did a stack of records on him and he'd say, I want to get these for my friend Kevin. <laughs> you know, of course, we could get some looks, you know. Both of us had long blonde hair, we dressed a little funny. And uh, I said, but Larry, I'm in DC Talk, man. I'm making some pretty good demo right now. I mean, I'm, I got a little bit of money. He's like, no, I don't want your money. I want to buy these records. And to me, that was the heart of Larry Norman, a generous, caring friend. That's how I knew the man. But he was absolutely a pioneer that opened up the door for all of contemporary Christian music. He was on the same planet as Bob Dylan and the Beatles and David Bowie and Lou Reed and all those people. He was on the same planet. So it's a pleasure to be able to do this record with his son, Mike Norman. Uh, so check it out. Well, you want to come to kevinmax.com, we'll have some places where you can go to check it out. Uh, this is a song that he wrote from that album called The Outlaw. Kind of like a cowboy song about you. Of unschooled ruffians, 
a few old fishermen. No one knew just where he came from or exactly what he'd done, but they guess it must have been something bad that kept him on the But with rehearsing with Toby Mac two days can feel like a lifetime. Because <laughs> he is such a stickler for detail, it's amazing. And that's his genius. He creates unbelievable pop songs. You know, he's my brother. I love him. He's different than me, but I love him. And then, and then I got Michael Tate, who's even more different than me. And I love him too. And uh, that's what made DC Talk. It wasn't any special magic conjured by record companies or producers or anybody like that. It's three very different people coming together to make music together. <laughs> Writing songs they were passionate about and not being afraid to talk about the J word. When, when a time, in a time when the J word was not like really, really fashionable, you know. So now we're on this Jesus Freak cruise with you for the second time. Newsboys, fronted by Michael Tate. I, I, I could never dream that in existence. Now it's happening, and it's amazing. Toby Mac, Kevin Max. And then we come together with DC Talk. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for being a part of the, the whole deal. And, and thanks to uh, Premier for putting this thing on. And just in case, if you guys really like, you know, hearing me, I will be on the Newsboys Fall Tour uh, this year. Singing about four or five songs. Because I sang on God's Not Dead. And I sang on I'm Second, and I sang on the new album, uh, Love One Another. And I think I sang on Entertaining Angels, uh, but Phil, Phil gets all the credit for it. Like, if you really, I, I did like a Phil Joel impersonation when I did that. I was like, let's see if I can pull this off. show was the best show.
All the other freaking stuff. But the first show wasn't that bad. Bad. They were awake. It wasn't as many. Nonetheless, it's a captive audience. You got nowhere to go but the news will show. I love you. I love you, boo boo. I got my family here tonight with my sister Linda Randall. <laughs> Y'all know Linda Randall? She's famous. Truth be told, truth be told, Toby Mac and I got into music back in the day when Linda Randall was the queen of us. She thought she can do it, we can do it. <laughs> so she sings for the Gators. Give her a hand. Let her go to the Families here, nieces, nephews. No nephews, but I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, guys, welcome to the ship. Have a great night. Here we go. To me.
God is watching you. So my grandma would say, honey, God's watching you, baby. <laughs> loving it, loving it, loving it. We love what we do, we feel called to what we do. What you see on the stage is real. We are living integration. We are living testimony that we can get along. Chocolate and vanilla can get along. <laughs> What's crazy, I told people backstage, let's just be real. DC Talk Cruise, Jesus Free Cruise. Back in the day, back in 1990, if you were a DC Talk fan, there's a good chance you were a newsboy fan. Little, yes, yes. Little did we know all these years later that I'd be in a band with these boys. God works in mysterious ways and mischievous ways. But Jody Davis, a real man, a man's man, this guy makes his own guitar from scratch. He plays more. That's his guitar. He made that. He made it. From Indiana, the one and only, Mr. Jody Davis. Give him some love. <laughs> From the land down under, the blonde wonder. The blonde wonder. This man has a book out. It's called Redwoods and Wales. He's blonde, but he's smart. I know you are. Guys, this guy's also one of my besties. One of the 16, 17 years. Loves his wife and kids. Try 25. Sam Thiel. Welcome on the base tonight, the one and only, Mr. Phil Jones. <laughs> Now on to the heavy hitters, the heavy hitters. This man started this band, Newsboys, in his mom and dad's garage. In a little city called Malulaba, Australia. Duckin was his next door neighbor, they're besties. The founder of Newsboys, and my great mate, Mr. Peter Ferner. Things come in small packages. <laughs> I love this guy like candy. He's a sweetheart, he really is. Has a bit of a temper. But he's a sweetheart. One of my favorite people on the planet we call Earth. The command in chief of the Newsboys Groove, Sir Duncan Phillips. Last but never least, he saved the best for last. Our band director, musical director, from the great state of Michigan. Oh, Michigan, Michigan, what up, y'all? The economically struggling city of Detroit. Not many vanilla people are from Detroit. I'm just saying. It all went downhill after I left. There you go. There you have. <laughs> He has a wife, three beautiful kids. His daughters call me Uncle Chocolate. You know, every kid loves chocolate. <laughs> so I'm the fave next to Jeff. Right, 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 right. Who's on to the stage? The one and only, smartest man on the stage, Mr. Jeff Frankenstein. Song, that, 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 that story song, it's in my, what is, you, you play this seven times, let's keep repeating when, when I work out. And I thought, that song blesses me too, we're kind of like twins. And then I think on a serious note, and I won't cry, but my brother's here tonight. Yeah. And my brother's been in and out of jail, most times in, for 35 years. And why? Did I get to live this life with these guys and Toby and Kevin and Kid Grammy who worked and stopped and he laid his bed on prison cell beds for years. Hard time. 
that it dawned on me. I don't have no other category. But for the grace of God, so will I, so will you. He's here tonight. Wait, 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 wait. He's out tonight. It is not over. God is still writing your life. It's a beautiful story. It starts for you. As the movies went on, Jeff and Jody in the first movie. That was great. Me, Jeff, Jody, Duncan. Okay. Second movie, no Jeff, no Jody. I even had the, the, the comic relief in the first movie. Yeah. 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 They, they, they broke me out of the second. Yeah. Yeah. And then we were basically the way. In the third movie, they came, they came, they had a spot up to LA, Duncan and I, no Jody and Jeff, and they filmed Duncan two, like a day and a half apart. Hey, you're going to bring this up now? <laughs> They filmed Duncan, guys, for like a day and a half. And they cut all the Duncan parts out of the movie. No, I was, I was sad about that. I, 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 I,
know I'm better than that. What's that? The producers called Phil and I, and they didn't even give us a chance to audition because they said we had faces for radio. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Nonetheless, guys, that movie, that song, as Kevin Mack says, he goes, Tate, that song is about as big as Jesus for you. I said, well, social media might be a little big, but nonetheless, that competition. <laughs> They're both great songs, but a verse came to mind when I think about God being alive. Exactly the same time in interviews. A lot of people today think that God is for old women and little children. Oh, no, no, baby. You look at that ocean, and you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that God's not there. Amen? Amen? So I read this verse. Take this verse. Michael Guido gave me this verse, my pastor. In Psalms 62. Psalms 62, verse 1. He alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me. For he is my champion defender. There is no risk of failure with God, Nate. No risk of failure with God. So why would I let worry paralyze me? Even when troubles multiply around me. God's not dead.